it was basically there is no justice and that all this happened because again you put it you made it very clear you said that and to keep the department of justice out of these cases were all made by the legally ignorant constitution defying president george w bush legally ignorant basically because he authorized torture uh, and because he took the perpetrators of 9-11 away from the DOJ and put them in the military justice system, no one has been convicted in Guantanamo Bay. It's an easy number to remember, zero. No one has been convicted of any 9-11 crimes. And now the government doesn't want to try Khalid Sheikh Mohammed. So for 20 years, the government demonized him as the second person after Osama bin Laden uh, who orchestrated 9-11, and now they're afraid to prosecute him. Why are they afraid to prosecute him? Why are they having plea negotiations with him when they say their case is a slam dunk? Because they're worried about what he'll say on the witness stand, A, about the tortures that were perpetrated on him, B, about the injustices of American foreign policy going back to the Eisenhower administration, where we kept invading the Middle East, supposedly to bring democracy there. So in order to keep him from saying that stuff in the uh, courtroom, they don't want to try him anymore, and they want to enter into plea negotiations with a person they told us was the second greatest uh, monster uh, in the modern era. It just shows what happens when a fool and an idiot like George W. Bush gets his hands on the concept of due process. He and his buddies in the Congress, like Lindsey Graham, will just wreck it. They say, oh, send them to send them to Cuba. They'll have a fast, down and dirty uh, military trial. They'll be convicted and executed. The litigation has been going on for 12 years. And after the 12 years, they've thrown up their hands and said, we don't want to prosecute them. The American people need to know what Bush did to the rule of law. Oh, and what did it cost? One hundred billion with a B, dollars in 20 years to build, own, and operate Guantanamo Bay. No. 100 billion with a B. It's oh mind-boggling, staggering. Oh, my God. So, you know, the buddies made all the money, the the the, 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 the people that built it and everything. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. The people that built it and the private contractors that maintained it made a fortune on all of this. I got in trouble at Fox once. I actually said it to a mutual friend of yours and mine, Ralph Nader, on his show, and I didn't think Roger Ailes would see it, but he saw it. I said that Bush and Cheney should be charged with war crimes. Of course, he went berserk on me, and then we kissed him made up. Bush and Cheney should be prosecuted oh. for, for war crimes, for slaughtering innocents, for leading the American uh, military into an unjust war, for doing what they were told by Phil Giraldi was not the truth. Phil Giraldi, great CIA uh, operative, told George Bush in the Oval Office, Saddam Hussein does not have weapons of mass destruction. Bush threw him out, announced that Saddam Hussein did have weapons of mass destruction and used that false pretense as a basis for killing about 850,000, 850,000 uh, innocent Iraqi uh, civilians. These are war crimes, and he and Cheney, Cheney should be prosecuted for them. And, and, and Guantanamo Bay should be raised and they should put salt in the earth where it was so that nothing else can ever be there, like the Romans did to the Carthaginians. You know, two things, or a couple of things. Number one, that a clown boy like this in what they call America, democracy, could do what he wants and authorize what he wants as the yeah. president is disgusting. Yes. Number two... What are we doing in Cuba? Hey, how about those Russians in Crimea? Why? How dare they? They were only there forever. What are we doing in Cuba? What, is, is, America, what is America doing in Cuba? The hypocrisy. It's, it's property that Teddy Roosevelt stole 120 years ago. We entered into a 99-year lease with the Cuban government, such as it was at the time. The lease is over, and we haven't left. Those so dirty Russians, those terrible Russians. How many did you say? 
I saw the numbers of over a million killed in Iraq. But let's go with your number. What was it 800 and something thousand? Yeah, that's the, that's the Johns Hopkins study. Whatever it is, it's an astronomical number of innocents killed. Right. So, the, and now let's talk about how they level the place, destroyed it, ruined the lives and livelihoods of the entire nation. And now the media, day after day after day in America, covers the Ukraine war and what those terrible Russians are doing, but never did they do it when America destroyed Iraq, Afghanistan, Libya, Syria, and on and on and on.